Hello everyone. Um, in this episode of Supercharging Your PowerPoint, I'm just going to show you how you can create quick maps from within your PowerPoint without having to use any software. Um, we're only going to use uh, uh, some of the tools that are you know built within the PowerPoint. So. I just want us to get started almost immediately without wasting any time. I'm just going to highlight this, delete this. So we want to start with a clean slide. So to start, um, to draw your maps or your map, I want us to uh, just go to uh, insert. And what are we going to insert? We need a chart, right? This shows the different kind of charts that you can actually, you know, um, create within your PowerPoint. But I'm interested in the map. Let's just click on the map and you see a preview of the world map showing some points, you know, some color uh, that are more intense than others. So that's what we want when we, once you are seeing this you know you're in the right path you click and then you just wait for some seconds for this powerpoint uh, for this uh, excel uh, file which contains the data uh, <clears throat> for this chart so what i'm going to do here is just you know just uh, push this a little further to the corner and I'm going to just expand this chart on the side so that you can see more clearly what we're going to be doing. So these are just series. This doesn't really tell us anything about what these values are. Um, but this is just it. So let's just assume you are creating the map of uh, the United States of America. And you want to maybe highlight some states with some, you know, some values, you know, for instance, you know, cases, COVID cases. So this is the map of the world, but you need to draw the map of the United States of America. How do you go about that? I'm just going to show you in a few, in some few minutes how to get that done. Map of Europe, map of Asia map of Africa even if you want to get very specific about the map of maybe uh, states or even smaller areas so we're just going to delete all those and here we have the map of the United States of America but the point is that we don't know how to you know place uh, our states so what we're going to do here instead of just using uh, having the United States we are going to just uh, edit it um, by adding let's say here we have florida and here you have uh, you see the state of florida just showed up but here we have the second is uh, let's say arizona and i have like uh, maybe nine points now you see the map of us shows up again let's say you have new york uh, um, let's say we are 50 see that um, the map of uh, maybe California California you have uh, maybe mm, 36 and then the map of maybe Texas you have maybe um, 25 and the map of uh, maybe Wyoming uh, MING and we have maybe 10 let's say that's how so now that gives you a map of the United States of America with some of the points that you may want to show so instead of this series I just want to write cases so these are hypothetical um, values so this may not really you know these are not true values so these are just for uh, the purpose of this tutorial so you have the map of the United States all 
done within your PowerPoint and you are ready to go to present. Um, but you can make a little more you know, adjustments, uh, some aesthetic, uh, if you need to maybe change. Um, let's add this. If you need to add some labels, you can go to labels. It's just only going to add the values, which are the, the numbers here or the number of cases. But we can go ahead and just click here and go to more data label options. And here on the left, on the right, sorry, you can click on category name. This is going to have the name of the, you know, of the states. You can come here to your uh, home. I'll maybe just blow up the name a little. See that? That's readable, right? Another thing you can do here is to come here, you know, separate. You want to separate them by comma. You can separate them by semicolon, but we are going to separate them by new line, which means the value will start in a new line, and that makes it a little easier to to visualize than the previous. So, next thing we're going to do here, we have our um, our um, uh, what's it called? Our map. The next thing we're going to do here is maybe you go come here to the you know to the style. You may need to change your style. This is the original style. You may need to change to these, which is a little more visible. And you can see the series is uh, right here uh, in the middle, at the to on the to uh, on top, just right below the the chart uh, title. You can also add this, which we kind of blank out the empty space or the background, and maybe uh, make. Uh, what you want to show a little more, uh, uh, more, more visible. Another is to have only all the things that you want, only the things you want to show, um, you know, visible. So I, I think I like this uh, here, here. So the next thing you can do instead of the style, uh, after the style is to go to the color. Here the default color is kind of blue, different shades of blue. You can actually check for any of the color that kind of fits your need. If you are the greenish guy or you, know, you like green a lot, you may choose to use a green and also this. That depends on what you want to achieve. If this is just enough to make your point, I think you can go ahead and just you know make use of that. Um, the cases, I think it's not. Uh, yeah, now it's showing. So. That's how to get, you know, how to draw the map of United States of America in just some few minutes. I'm assuming you, you know, before you can do this, I'm assuming that at least you can maybe, you know, create some slides, PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint. And also you have, I think I'm using Microsoft Office 360. So. If you have, I think, 2019, that should also do the magic. Uh, anything, you know, maybe earlier than that, I don't know. I've not tried any other uh, versions of this uh, uh, Microsoft Office. So, if you are not getting it right, that doesn't mean you are getting it wrong. It means maybe um, this functionality is not supported in your version of Microsoft Office. So that's it. So let's assume you want to you know, create a map of uh, Europe. Okay, so instead of Florida, I'm just going to have England here. And uh, instead of Arizona, I'm going to have uh, France here. Instead of New York, I'm going to have uh, maybe Spain here. And here, I'm going to have uh, Belgium. Uh, here I'm going to have um, Ukraine. How do you spell Ukraine? And then um, here I'm going to have um, where? Greece. Right? That's this. Now you have the map of Europe showing the number of cases. And uh, you know, as I said earlier, these are the, these are hypothetical values. So these are not true. So. But the most important thing here is just, you know, showing you how to create those maps. Um, here you have the map of Europe showing the different uh, countries. 
countries um, with uh, the you know hypothetical COVID cases. So let's assume you want to draw the map of Asia, Asia, right? So Asia, you write uh, you know you have India, India maybe you have twenty, uh, China you have uh, maybe mm, fifty. And instead of China here, you have um, what are that countries? Okay, let's say Japan. Japan instead of fifty, you have five. Um, Belgium instead of Belgium, you have um, what are that countries? Do you think? I'm just <sighs> so you have uh, let's say uh, not uh, no, let's say South uh, Korea. And then here you want to say what? What? Let's say Nepal. And here you want to say what? Tell me Pakistan. So now you have only the Asian countries. You know, if you need to maybe emphasize some of the points here, China has 50. Let's say 30, um, then you know, the color intensity kind of uh, kind of changes a little. So, but you are here, you know, you can see some of these are Asian countries and uh, you know, and the values. So, I'm going to draw before I end this. I'm just going to draw some countries in Africa as well. So, Nigeria, zoom in. You have Ghana, and here you have uh, Mali. Here you have uh, Kenya, uh, Kenya. Mm, here, here you have South Africa. Here you have South Africa, and here you have uh, maybe Tunisia. So <clears throat> there's only Africa. So you can have the map of Africa just showing, you no. Know, um, those uh, values, for instance, if you need to even zoom in a little, oh, no, Nigeria is not spelled this way here, as I already spelled. So, assuming you want to kind of zoom in on uh, maybe a much um, finer details, so you want to just delete all this. And here you have the map of Nigeria. Instead of Nigeria, here you have Lagos. Lagos is there, you have uh, Ondo, you have uh, maybe Kiti, uh, no. and here you have Sokoto, Oof. Sokoto State, and here you have uh, maybe um, Rivers, uh, I don't have values for that, 5, I have values for 11, I have values for um, 10 as well as 4, 6. See that? That is so easy, right? So, if you have uh, maybe, um, what other states do you want me to add? Um, maybe Edo State. Edo State has uh, like 10. You have, um, Delta. Oh, sorry. Delta State. You have uh, maybe 20. And uh, you have uh, Emo. Emo State, you have 15. Um, Abbey Estate, you have like uh, 5. So that's just showing you, you know, 5 here, not 55. So that's showing you, you know, how to you know, create these maps very quickly without having the need for a software. And if you do need maybe to kind of add some um you know some kind of styles or colors you can actually you know choose uh to use this as well this is style and the color could be you know green and that's all so that's how you can um create very quick maps in uh, all within powerpoints like i said you don't need to have the knowledge of any software like igis qgis or whatever to make this happen just need to have your data 
and you need to be able to learn and uh, know how to create a slide on, in PowerPoint. So I want you to subscribe to our channel because I'm going to be bringing in a lot of these very useful tips. Um, and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.